Hey, and welcome to our very first uh, online class. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of our Finesse 45 class. Normally in the studio, we'd be using T-Rexes and some studio weights and other bits and bobs. But given that we're at home, we're all at home and we have limited stuff for me to, our, uh, to use, I'm just going to be using a mat, as you can see on the floor, and a fog standard kitchen chair okay so uh, if you've never done sorry if you've never done uh, our classes before golden rule is always work with your body uh, if it doesn't feel right stop um, and uh, we can't really modify it so much because normally that's what I'd say if, it doesn't, if it's not working for your body we, we'll stop and we modify um, so I'm going to do a little bit, 30 minute workout today uh, it's Pilates inspired uh, workout. So it's all low impact and it is designed to get the muscles moving and burning and uh, get, you, get you feeling good while you're stuck at home. Okay, so I'm gonna face my bar or my chair, the back of my chair to start. And what I'm gonna do is just coming up on my toes, swapping over and I'm really pushing through my foot so I'm not kind of swinging my hips, I'm pushing through my foot to come up with my toes and I'm working the muscles in the feet and the calf and I'm going to count, I'm going to try to count from 8, doesn't always work, but we're going to go for 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and now we're going to come up on two, toes, two feet together, so two heels lift and down for 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, and then I'm going to pivot my heels, so my heels are going to go out, and then I'm going to pivot them in again. So I'm going to go for eight, seven, six, five, four. And I'm really trying to get that action from the hip, not the knee. Two, and one. Give the legs a little shake, and I'm going to start again. So from the top, for eight, seven, six, five, four, all the time breathing. And one, two heels together for eight, seven. Tummy muscles are pulled in, pelvic floor is pulling together and upwards. Three, two, one, and then I'm gonna go for my out and in. So out and in, out and in. Four, three, two, and one. One more round of these. Our calves should be waking up fairly quickly doing these. We're gonna go four, three, two and one two heels together for eight seven six five four three two and one and then we're going to go out and in seven good six five four Woo, these are real killer three they don't look like much two one but they really get those calves lighting up Okay, so from here, I'm going to turn slightly sideways. My feet are going to be slightly wider than my shoulders, but whatever position you like to squat in is fine for these. So tummy nice and tall. You're going to up nice and tall. Stick the butt out first to initiate the move of a squat. So it's like you're sitting back. Imagine there's another chair behind you. So we're sitting back. I'm just going to bring myself down and lift. Tummy is nice and tight. We're going to go for eight, seven, you're all the time keeping your, keeping your back nice and straight. Sometimes we have a tendency to look up too much when we're doing a squat. It makes our back arch a little bit too much. And sometimes we look down and tend to drop too far forward. So you want to be somewhere in the middle. We go for three, two, and one. We're going to hold it here. So use your chair for a little bit of balance. Get your weight fully into your foot, feet. And we're going to pulse. So really pulse up and down, pushing the weight through the heels now. Make sure those knees aren't collapsing in towards each other, but they're nice and strong over the ankles. For three, two, one, and we're gonna stand tall. And down for eight, seven. Inhale down, exhale to press. Don't worry about your breathing, just don't stop breathing. Four, three, two, and one, we're gonna hold it down and pulse for eight, seven, six, five. Now in four, we're gonna renovate. So we're holding it down, 
We're going to lift those heels off the floor again. So we're coming up and down, up and down. So make sure it's not a kind of a Michael Jackson thing. Make sure everything's staying nice and steady and you're working those joints in the feet. The quads are going to start really talking to you here. We're going to go for three, two, and one, and back from the start. start. So down and lift, and down and lift. We're going for five, four, three, two, down and hold and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and releve. Eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, two, and hold it in a releve. Hold it here and pulse, pulse. Your quads are going to start really talking to you now. Breathe for four, three, two, oh, calves are starting to shake. One, bring the heels down from the top. Last round, down and lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, down and hold and pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and releve, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold here, pulse, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now if you can, just keep it in releve, lift and lower, keep those heels up, Nice and high. If not, put the heels back down again. Just finish off this block for four, three, two, and one. Bring the heels down. Give everything a shake. My legs are starting to talk to me already. Okay. Great. So I'm going to just use my chair a little bit. Tummy nice and tight. Just going to give us a little stretch through the back of the legs. Making sure your toes are drawn in, pelvic floors drawn up, let the head relax down. Just give a little stretch, bump yourself back up the chair, give everything a little shake. So, I'm going to take it onto the floor and out of this next little bit. I'm going to work the arms and the core, okay? So, just make sure you can see me. <laughs> We're going to peel ourselves down. So, draw the belly button in, zip of the pelvic floor. We're going to peel ourselves all the way to the floor. It doesn't really matter what your feet are doing. And we're going to peel and press and lift back up again. So peel down and peel up. Okay, so it's not a press, it's not a chest press or it's not a push-up. It's a peel down and a peel up. Slightly different. Golden rule is make sure you don't feel it in your lower back. You don't want to feel this in your lower back whatsoever. Okay, tummy's drawn in, pelvic floor is drawn up. We're lowering ourselves down using our hands and our elbows and our arms and are pressing back up again. We're going to go for eight, seven, inhale down, exhale and lift for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Give yourself a little shell stretch to so bring your butt back down onto your heels, in other words. Drop the head down. And then we're gonna come up. And we're gonna come into a plank. So, feet are, you can have your feet totally together or slightly apart. Again, the golden rule is not dropping into the back. That's the most important thing with any of these. Not to drop into the back when you're doing them. Keeping your tummy muscles switched on so your core is switched on. Okay, so. I'm going to have my feet slightly wide. It's slightly easier to do it with feet wide. We're going to tap, shoulder, tap, tap, tap. And you're looking for as little movement through your middle as possible. So we don't want a big swing from side to side. We want to keep everything still. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest it out. Bring yourself back into the shelter. 
If that didn't work or you didn't feel like it was for you, hold it in a plank, either a full one with the knees above the floor or keep it with the knees on the floor. Totally your decision. Okay, so we're going again. Peel down and peel up for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Ooh, quick shell stretch, give the hands, give the wrist a little break. And coming up into a plank, feet are slightly wide, tap the shoulder. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And bring the knees down, give yourself another little shell stretch. Excellent. Okay, well, we're going to back up onto a standing position next. And we're going to go for a little lunge. Lunges with some releves. So, um, let me just grab my chair back again. Okay, so standing up nice and tall, tummy nice and tight. We're going to lunge back. So again, try and keep yourself up nice and tall. Try not to let yourself pitch forward. We're going to keep yourself tall, down, and lift. Watch those knees at the front. Make sure they're not dropping inwards. And we're keeping everything in a good alignment. Okay, so let's go for eight, seven, six. Hold on to the bar, reach with the arms, whatever feels good. Okay, we're gonna go for three, two, one. Okay, so hold it here. My left leg is forward, my right leg is back. Just help a little bit more here. And I'm gonna pulse, so little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Hold it here. I want you to put your weight into your, this front foot and bang your heel. Just bang it. Eight, seven, six, five. Look, you're tapping your heel to music. Speaking of which, I don't have any music on this. You can turn up the tunes loud and try and follow me. Follow what's going on just by looking if you want. Okay, hold it here. I'm going to lift. I'm going to swap. So down. Hold. Holding that position. Belly button drawn in. Up nice and tall, tummy nice and tight, bang the heel. Eight, seven, six. So this is really gonna fire up your hamstrings. So up, up under here, you're gonna start feeling this. Your quads are gonna be talking to you anyway. Hamstrings are gonna go, start going, oh, oh, okay. So, and up, and we're lunging for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. We're going to up, and I'm going to bring my left foot to the front again. I'm going to hold it here, I'm going to pulse. And bang my heel for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here, and I'm going to wiggle my toes. I don't know if you can see my toes start to wiggle for eight. Seven, six. Now, not only your quad on this side, but your glutes on this left side as well start kind of thinking, oh, all right, okay. I'm supposed to work now. Two and one, up and stop. So down. Okay, legs are really tall to this. Bang that heel. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now wiggle the toes. Wiggle those toes for seven, six, but on this side now, starting to talk to me. Five, quads are talking to me all the time. Three, two, one. We're going up and lunging for seven, six, five, four, three, two, down and hold. Bang that heel. Eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and wiggle the toes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Don't forget to bring your arms out. We're gonna bob. Everyone loves a good bob. Bob, 
box. So your weight is more in your heel now with this front leg. We really want to fire up that glute on the left side. Butt cheek should be talking to you. Five, four, three, two, one. Stand tall and swap. Down and hold. Bang that heel. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, wiggle toes. Eight, Woo. seven, these are hard. Six, five, oh no, four, get my balance, switch back on again. Two, one, we're gonna bob. Down and lift. Eight, seven, Woo. six, five, four, three, two, and one, and stand tall. Woo. And give those quads a little stretch. Oh, I've got the back door open here. It's about 12 degrees, I think, outside. We're going to do a little stretch into the glutes here as well. Ooh. Okay. Now, okay. So we're going to take it down again onto the floor. Uh, So, make sure all the way is in the picture. Hopefully, you can still hear me. Okay. So, my arms are going to be nice and long. My tummy is drawn in, pelvic floor is drawing up. I'm going to tip my pelvis. So, if you've done that work before, we're going to roll that pelvis. So, tip it backwards so your lower back comes nice into the floor. Make sure you're not using your bum at this point. Okay. And then we're going to use the bum. We're going to peel the spine up. Inhale here at the top. Exhale, heel the spine all the way down. If you've been stuck inside now for a few days, your back's might be a little bit sticky in places. So let's do a few of these to just get the juices going. My back is feeling very tight over the last couple of days. It's Patrick's Day today, and we decided to curb the spread of coronavirus. Ooh, I totally missed everything there that we will close the studio. So this is why I'm here, online, keeping my germs to myself, you're keeping your germs to yourself, and we're mobilizing our spines. We're opening out through those hip flexors now as well. Everything should be really super toasty warm after that first 15 minutes or so. And peeling. Now we're gonna hold it here. I'm just gonna hold it, and what I'm gonna do Again, I'm gonna just bring my toes, right toes up and then down. Left toes up, down. Right toes up and down. Left toes up and down. You should feel the glutes on each side. Just do a little extra fibers, just switch on and just extra bit more doing that. Really trying to open out through those hip joints, especially again if it's stuck at a Stuck at your kitchen table for the last few days. I'm going to open these guys out again. I'm going to go for two and one. I'm going to peel my spine all the way down again. Oh, I'm going to bring my knees up into my chest. That feels nice sometimes. Okay. So from here, now, if you've got any neck problems, Use a block underneath your head to help support your head. But if you have any neck problems with these ones, I want you to just gently pl place the hand behind the head to let the weight of the head come into the hand. Okay, try your very best not to pull your head too far forward. Make sure that chin doesn't come in contact with your chest. We don't want, we don't want to do that. It'll just stress, stress out the neck a little bit too much. So we want to draw our belly button in zip of the pelvic floor, okay? And we're just gonna nod the chin, roll, and hold. So this time, we're peeling the spine from the top down. The first one where we lifted the bum up, we were peeling, the, we were mobilizing the spine from the bottom up, and now we're going from the top down, and peel. So again, just bending that upper spine forward, and down again. Okay, I'm gonna do one more, I'm gonna hold. Hold, so make sure your tummy muscles are drawing inwards. 
not too much, just a smidgen. You don't want to go nuts trying to do that, just a very gentle connection. Pelvic floors are drawing up. For any guys who might be watching this, uh, nuts to guts is a really good one I heard lately, so that should work for you guys to make sure your pelvic floors are switching on. Now we're holding it here, and we're going to lengthen back down again. So these are really easy, now the chin, they're not really easy, that's the wrong thing to say. They are basic moves in Pilates. Just hold it there, feel everything connect, breathing, and peel. Down again. Okay. Whew. Okay, so from here, I'm going to bring myself around and I'm going to come onto my tummy. Okay. So I'm going to bring my hands up underneath my chin. My belly button is drawn in, my pelvic floor is drawn up, and I'm going to do what's called a single leg kick. So I'm going to just bend my knee and bring my foot towards my bum, then I'm going to heel dig point and lower. So we want to try and keep this pelvis as steady as possible, making sure we're not arching through the back to get any ranges here and make sure the pelvis isn't bobbing all over the place. Again, lengthening out those quads after the first little bit and lengthen and lengthen and lengthen and lengthen. So this is really nice, just to gently get those quads, the muscles, the front of the legs to release and also working the hamstrings. So do one more and lengthen and lengthen. From here then, bring your hands back out the side of your chest, nice and slowly bring yourself up into a shell stretch. So, Bringing your bum down onto your heels, reach the arms forward. Nice big inhale here. Okay, we're going to come back down onto the floor. I'm going to have my hands either side of my body. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just lift up through my upper body and down again. This is a very subtle move. It's really nice and for your upper back, especially if you have been sitting over a desk that's not really designed for long-term working at, so like a kitchen table or a couch with a laptop, your upper back might be giving you some pain at the moment. So what we want to do is inhale here, exhale, draw your belly button in, and we're just trying to bring that spine again up. So we don't want to feel this in the lower back at all. It's really just your upper back. Mine doesn't do a whole lot. My back tends to be stuck in a quite a flat position all of the time. So that's just my posture. So I'm only going to do one more of these. And then I'm going to gently push myself back. And again, I like to be in this round position. So I'm going to give myself a really nice shell stretch here. And I'm going to come up and I'm going to give myself a little cat stretch. So imagine what a cat looks like when stretching. Drop the head down, let the head relax. There's very little weight through my hands. I'm really using my abdominals. So I'm not pushing the floor down at all. I'm using my abdominal strength to round my back out and give that back a nice stretch. And again, rounding out through that back. Okay, and then holding it here, I'm going to bring my left foot between my two hands. Now you have a couple of choices, you have a couple of options with this one. I'm going to try and stretch out my right hip here. You can leave that knee on the ground or you can float it up. It really just depends on what level you're at. I like having it on the ground. It, I just feel like there's more control over it. And then I'm going to bring myself up. And again, when you bring yourself up, your body will want to turn towards that side. That's fine. Let it. Make sure you know you're doing it. Keep the tummy pulled in. And if you've got tight hip flexors, you're going to know those little sticky points. I like to try and work through so by rotating my body very slowly around, I'm working all the fibers in the hip flexor. Sometimes I bend that knee up, I'm not gonna, the back leg up, I'm not gonna do that today because the floor, the tiles that I'm working on are very hard and my knee won't, wouldn't love it. Then what I'm gonna do is take the pressure off that 
And I'm going to sit back. Now, if you've got a dodgy knee, this one's not going to be for you. So go as far as you can, stretching out the hamstring. Take a hold of that foot. So the back of that left leg now, under a nice little stretch. All the time breathing into these, we want the body now, the central nervous system to calm down. I'm going to keep these videos kind of super short, kind of aware that a lot of you guys have a home with kids and locking yourself up for 45 minutes isn't going to be an easy option. So I'm going to try and keep them 20, 25 minutes to 30 minutes tops, just so you can get a bit of a a bit of a workout in and maybe you know keep yourself on the straight and narrow okay so tummy nice and tight we're soft legs and bringing that other hip forward push forward again to feel those tight spots you don't have to do the rotations go again with what works well for you what does your body like Sometimes it doesn't want to do the ones that it really needs to do. I find that the exercises that we hate are the ones that the body really needs. Can't, can't do that online. That's the kind of stuff you need to do in person with somebody. Okay, gently take the pressure off that hip. Bring yourself back into a stretch. And again, only go so if here, if here is where you're feeling a stretch, that's fine. Especially if you do have a, a bogey knee of any description. Coming down into this position may not be an option for you. So go with what your body is telling you. Reaching forward. And then I'm going to come up. Now, at the start, we did lots of uh, calf work. So we're going to come up into... A little calf stretch and we're going to push the heels so bend one knee and push this left the other leg into the floor get as much weight into the legs as you can <sighs> nice little stretch remember guys i'm always saying this if you start getting a twitch response so if the muscles start the leg starts twitching when you're stretching when if the like if you're, you start getting like a little kind of vibration effect through the muscle when you're doing these stretches always back off the stretch a little bit it's too much for the muscle fibers and try to tell you to stop but usually we try and push through that when the muscles are actually screaming at you asking you to back off that stretch a little bit so if you do get that little twitch response try and stop okay tummy nice and tight we're going to walk the hands back make sure your core is switched on in this position let your head relax, let my head relax. Down here. Stay here for as long as you like. Now, when you're peeling up out of this one, knees are nice and soft. Slowly, 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 slowly. You don't want anyone to hit the deck. Lift the chin, bring the arms behind the back, then lift the chin, open the chest. And then round again out through the upper back. And reach up towards the ceiling. Everyone knows this little stretch bit we do at the end. Side bend. And bring it back. Side bend. And bring it back. And hold it in those stretches those for as long as you want. And that's it. That's our first one done. Uh, 29 minutes, 5 seconds. So not bad on the old time and stakes. Considering my counting is awful. Not any better with when I'm here on my own. Uh, okay, well done guys. Let me know how you get on. Let me know if there's anything you want, other stuff you want to do. Uh, I'm going to keep making these over the next couple of weeks and uh, maybe get them a little bit harder. Easier, harder, I'll be putting up a mix of stuff. <laughs> okay guys, well done.